strong magnitude 4.2 earthquake just shook all of Athens, Greece. This was just about five minutes ago and uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning and I was awake watching something on Netflix. Actually, I was watching Ozark, which is pretty good. And uh, this is when I felt it. And uh, there was, uh, it's in an area and we'll see in the map uh, close to Athens. This is our map here. This is the greater Athens area and it's right in the area of Corinth. It's in a, this is what we hear, this actually here is a fault line. It's the, as you can see, this part of the Peloponnese was once uh, a part of the uh, greater part of Greece. And of course, that is a fault line uh, that split Peloponnese from this area. Let's go to our map here on Sizemo Berkeley and we'll come in a little bit more. This is what we had a few days ago, 4.2, and this one was today, 4.3, south of Crete, and this is where we just had our earthquake a few minutes ago, right in this area, right here, right here, and if we go into our details of what's going on there, basically it's a subduction zone, of the African plate underneath the Eurasian plate, right here. Let's go and see our map. This is the University of Athens Seismology Laboratory. And, okay, the uh, yellows is, the yellow dots are the past 24 hours, the red is the past 12 hours. As you can see, we've had a number of quakes around this area. Okay, let's go into this. The purple is the past six hours. Oh, actually we have two spots. Let's see. Okay, the same area. This one here, 4.2, and this one here, 1.8, a little bit later. Okay. Let's see, this one was at 3, and this is uh, 7 minutes later, 1.8. So that was the aftershock, 2 minutes ago. So this was 9 minutes ago, location of 34 kilometers depth, uh, sorry, 4 kilometers depth, 34 kilometers of, this is Corinth right here. Basically, it's an area between Athens and Corinth, halfway between Athens and Corinth. Okay, this is Athens, this is Piraeus, Piraeus, the port of Piraeus, this is uh, Salami, Salamis, the island of Salamis, and this is Corinth right there. The Isthmus uh, Canal of Corinth goes right through here. Okay, nine minutes ago, and uh, this is the aftershock of 1.8, in the, basically the same location. Now, if we go into our area, this is around the area of Alcyonides. These are the Alcyonides area. This is a very seismic area of Corinth, and it usually gives um, big earthquakes. Um, this is where we had an earthquake in 1981, and uh, the earthquake that we had about 21 years ago. Is that a third one? Let's see. If it blocks up, it comes up. We had just had another one. Okay. So we're having another one. This just popped up three minutes ago. Two magnitude. Okay, so this was the 4.2. This was the 1.8 and two magnitude. So you can see that we're having an earthquake swarm there. That's not good news. Now, going into this area of what we have here, this is not the, the quake that we're talking about. This is an older quake, but this on size well, Berkeley shows us the um, Mediterranean region, seismically active due to the northward convergence of the African plate with respect to the Eurasian plate along a complex plate boundary. It's approximately began 50 million years ago, associated with the closure of the Tethys Sea 
the modern day of the remnants of the Tethys Sea is the Mediterranean Sea right here. The highest rates of seismicity in the Mediterranean region are found along the Hellenic subduction zone right here, along the North Anatolian Fault of Western Turkey and the Calabrian of, so, subduction zone of Southern Italy. So uh, this is where we're talking about. This is also uh, an area of uh, uh, what should we say? Some um, magma. Uh, we have here Lutraki, which is hot springs. It's hot springs because we have magma underneath. That's what causes the hot spring baths. Lutraki right here. And we have uh, Kamena Vurla, which is another area around here that has hot springs as well. So we have a lot of hot springs because there's magma underneath. Oh, every time we see the map going back, it's because we've had another earthquake. So that must be, oh, that's the one that we just saw before. Okay. The two, two magnitude, 1.8, and the 4.2 that we were talking about. Okay. Now, this is what we have here. That's the situation. Okay. 4.2 magnitude. And these are the stations that we have there. The various stations. And um, how far they are from the epicenter of the quake. There we go. So we have to be very careful. This is what's going on there. We have an earthquake swarm in this area. That's not good news because of the fact that this has in the past given historically major quakes. Major meaning seven magnitude. Okay, a size where Berkeley still has not put up that earthquake, but I'm sure it will in a few moments. So this is what we're talking about. We have something going on there which is um, I'm not happy about and uh, I'm on the second floor of a building and uh, I was quite rattled it was not a happy <laughs> situation because uh, you know you get palpitations when you're thinking is that the main shock or is that the aftershock what's going on here or if that's the foreshock what will the after what will the main shock be like and uh, you start, basically, I start counting the seconds whenever I, I feel an earthquake, but this one was quite strong. It did shake my chair. It shook the table. There was no sound before that. Sometimes you hear a rattling sound. What's happening here? The map is changing. Does that mean there's a new quake or not? No. Okay. So it's a quake swarm, as we said before. The 4.2 the 1.8 and the 2 magnitude is the most recent, uh, what's this, right here, okay, 1.8, the 2 was, a, oh, what's going on, okay, it doesn't want to help me, this is it right here, the 2 magnitude, okay, so this is the area, shall we pan in and get a little bit more to see what's going on there, this is what it look, looks like, okay, Going back to the other one, the bigger one, the bigger one. Okay, this is it right here that we saw, this one here. And let's go in a little bit to see the area. Basically, there's not many people living there, even though it's coastline. Um, I don't know if that's around... Um, this is basically areas that are uh, um, summer vacation spots. Almiri and things like that, summer vacation spots. You can see a few houses there. The street is right on the coast. And, um, oops, we pulled out too much. Okay. And little houses there. That's the street going around the coast. A little, a little boat there, a pleasure boat, and um, this is what it looks like. Some pine trees, uh, maybe some farms, that's what it is. A very quaint little um, 
villages. Oh, that's another one. This is another one. It just came up now. Four minutes ago, two magnitude, but that's in the uh, area of uh, close to the um, second largest city in Greece, Salonika. So we have a, quite a few uh, earthquakes there today. But this is the one that we felt about 10 minutes ago. 4.2, 4 where is it? I pulled out too much again. This one here, the 4.2. It was around 6 o'clock uh, local time, around 3 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.